Phospholamban, Wikipedia article audio. 1 plp, 1 zll, 2 hyn. Function NM002667 N a Clinical significance NP002658 Discovery N a Interactions Phospholamban, also known as PLN or PLB, is a protein that in humans is encoded by the PLN gene. Phospholamban is a 52 amino acid integral membrane protein that regulates the Ca2 plus pump in cardiac muscle cells. This protein is found as a pentamer and is a major substrate for the CAMP dependent protein kinase in cardiac muscle. The protein is an inhibitor of cardiac muscle sarcoplasmic reticulum Ca++ ADPase in the unphosphorylated state, but inhibition is relieved upon phosphorylation of the protein. The relief of inhibition on Ca++ ADPase leads to faster Ca++ uptake into the sarcoplasmic reticulum thereby contributing to the leucotropic response elicited in heart by beta agonists. The protein is a key regulator of cardiac diastolic function. Mutations in this gene are a cause of inherited human dilated cardiomyopathy with refractory congestive heart failure. When phospholamban is phosphorylated by pKa its ability to inhibit the sarcoplasmic reticulum calcium pump is lost. Thus, activators of pKa, such as the beta-adrenergic agonist epinephrine, may enhance the rate of cardiac myocyte relaxation. In addition, since Cirxa is more active, the next action potential will cause an increased release of calcium resulting in increased contraction. When phospholamban is not phosphorylated, such as when pKa is inactive, it can interact with and inhibit Cirxa. The overall effect of phospholamban is to decrease contractility and the rate of muscle relaxation, thereby decreasing stroke volume and heart rate, respectively. Gene knockout of phospholamban results in animals with hyperdynamic hearts, with little apparent negative consequence. Mutations in this gene are a cause of inherited human dilated cardiomyopathy with refractory congestive heart failure. Phospholamban was discovered by Arnold Martin Katz and co-workers in 1974. PLN has been shown to interact with SLN and ATP2A1. This article incorporates text from the United States National Library of Medicine, which is in the public domain.